Okay, well, um, they have closed off the highway uh, until 7 in the morning. So I'm, I'm here at this place called Kickin' Horse. Um, and he said that there's uh, clean water. Uh, there's a rest spot here. Let's see. It's got a bathroom. He says there's even a place down the road a little bit where I could put a tent. So I'm just going to check out this spot real quick with you guys. Seems nice. It's nice and quiet. Right? Clean washrooms. Oh, I see it down there. Yeah, I could put a tent down there. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh yeah, I could plop a tent right there. Okay, this is the spot. This is the spot, everybody. This is sweet. This is really, really nice. Actually, this is uh, super nicer than uh, than what I was gonna do. Well, okay. Well, fucking right. Let's get down there then. And uh, yeah, let's get down there and see what the fuck's going on. Oh my. Oh my, my. I think what I'm gonna do though is I'm just gonna pop a tent over here somewhere. Totally. Oh, yeah. Right there, buddy. Oh, no. Look at that. Look at that. Why do you people have to do that? What is with you guys? That's terrible. You should never do that. Don't litter like that. I'm going to have to come back later and clean that up. Oh. Well, no cell service. There's the car. So, what's weird, that there's like literally no cell service, but there's a cell tower, or is that a cell tower? Right there, can you see that? Is that a fucking cell tower? Is it? I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's only eight hours and then I'm back on the road. But here's my little camping spot. Looky, looky. Isn't that nice? Okay, so... I just gotta get my little burner. I got my pot here. And some water. I'm gonna make some, uh, what is it now? Kimchi ramen noodles. <laughs> That'll keep my belly warm, help me get a good night's sleep. And then we're off in the morning, uh, seven o'clock. That's when they open up the highway again. And then uh, I think we're just headed straight. We're just gonna, I was gonna take a couple of days and just stick around but screw this I'm going straight to Richmond hello How's it going? good good lots of people around here remember what that guy looks like in case I end up dead tomorrow Okay, I'm not fucking joking. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Some semis are leaving. So, oh, I gotta lock that up. Some creepy people around here tonight. Anybody try to steal my shit? Got my baseball bat in the tent. I wanna knock them the fuck out. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm making a little bit of ramen noodles. So, I'll turn some light on here for you. So you can there we go. Yeah, cooking that up. Waiting for that water to boil. And what do we got here? What do we got? Korean kimchi flavored noodles. Wow. Wow. Oh, some more cars coming. 
Right. You're not supposed to go down that way. I hope they don't go down that way because I just hid a beer in the lake area where it's um, super cold. So by the time the ramen's done, the beer should be icy cold right now. And if those motherfuckers find my beer, I'm gonna kill them. Seriously. Okay, well, we're gonna eat, we're gonna drink, and we're gonna sleep in the tent. There's the car. This is kind of everything right here. Everybody's kind of staying up there because I don't think anybody was as prepared as I was for this highway being shut. So it's getting real busy though. So I'm gonna let you go and I will see you later. Ah, slept in my car just for the last few hours. It got super, super cold out there in the tent. But why didn't you use more sleeping bags? Because they're all tied up in this thing on the roof of my car. Tighter than a nun's hoo-ha. So, do I sleep in my car or do I take an hour to try to unstrap everything and then restrap everything back up again? Sleep in my car. It won't be the first time, I'll tell you that. But what we're going to do is we're going to make some fresh ground coffee in my French press. And then we're going to pack up the tent and then we're going to go. So, first night out. Horrible beginning. Not a very good sleep, but things are looking up. Can't get any worse. Let's just let's just say that. Let's hope that. All right. I will talk to you later. Well, we're off. We're gonna take off right away here. We're all set up. Got cleaned up. Sights all cleaned up too. Leave it looking better than you did when you showed up. Leave no footprint. So here we go. We're gonna take off. And we're gonna head, we're gonna try to make Richmond today. But if we don't, I really don't care. Not, not much of a rush. So let's do this. Talk to you in a bit. Okay. So I just stopped off at a gas station. I uh, had to fill up. Uh, I did have half a tank, but if I'm in the mountains, I don't want to be risking it. But I'm going to show you this. 169.9. Are you kidding me? It was 133 in Calgary. But you can't, can't dispute the view though. Okay, so this last stretch of highway uh, into Richmond for the next hour is just super, super boring. It's super packed. You can barely even go 100 kilometers. It's just horrible. It's flat. Reminds me a lot of uh, Saskatchewan roads, only with less potholes. So this is going to be a long trip into the end of our trip. Talk to you soon. Oh crap, now the trees are in the way. Uh, let's see. Can you see it? Can you see it? No, oh, the trees are in the way. Well, over there is Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver here too. Hang on. Uh, Vancouver Delta.
Delta and Vancouver, yep. And we're driving on this crazy highway, and everybody is a fucking freak. There's some of the city. Oh, yeah. There's some of the other part of the city. Uh, it's 5:35. Here's the trains. There's some of the city. So I'm headed to Steveston, which is just outside of Richmond, uh, and that's where I'm going to stay for the night. So. As I get there, I'll let you know. Bye. So until then, I'll see you again.